What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are going to kind of remodel the place a little bit. So we've got some fences around here. We've got some stumps kind of hanging out. We need to get rid of that stuff. We've also got some more stumps around here. So what I want to do is I want to see what we can do about removing all of these. As fast as we can, as much as we can. Should be pretty simple. Now, yesterday we made a video about how to, ooh, rain is coming in fast. Yesterday we made a video about how to get these stumps gone quickly. Well, somebody posted said, drop it down and lean it back. It said, and you can get it all, go slow, and the whole thing will go. Well, I'm a little, yes, it's working, but it's not working exactly the way I would want it to work. So is it gone? That is gone. Let me show you the way that I've been doing it. So I've been rocking as high as it'll go so that we get rid of that top part. Then you just kind of drive through. Drive straight over it and what's going to do is it's going to just kind of straddle your tractor. So you got plenty of clearance room. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and do it to this straight line right here. We should be able to just kind of hit go and it will go right there there we go and it cuts it down just right enough again like i said to where we've got room now i think a stump did fall yep we did have a piece of wood fall it did not delete itself some of them do some of them don't it's not a bad thing if they don't or not it just, it just, it just uh, doesn't happen sometimes it ain't nothing we can do about it so again we are just rocking through we will make two passes so do keep that in mind so there's the first and then let's swing this by, see if we can get this four-wheel steer in to do us, do us some favors. There we go. There we go. And then all we have to do is simply, whenever we're ready, drop this down now. We can get a good look at it. Drop it down, flatten it out, and bring it to the ground. Now, when we come back through, it's going to delete everything in front of it. So. The stump grinder is actually much, much better than we were thinking that it is, which is exciting. It's very, very cool. And plus, the good thing is it takes away all of the grass whenever you go over it, so you'll know whether you've gotten that stump or not. But with it being all the way to the ground, I think it should be cutting everything just fine. Look at that. Now, what do you think about that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool right there. It's working. Everything's doing exactly the way I want it to. There we go. There's that. Little chunk of wood right here. Um, usually those work better if you just kind of move it around. Do we get it? We got it. A little bit more room to go here. There we go. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who hung out with us on Saturday for the... What was it? 10 hour? About said 24 again. 10 hour live stream. It was absolutely incredible. The amount of support that you guys have for the channel is amazing and it makes me want to keep rocking and rolling so that's what we're doing now now this is cool right here because this stump gets rid of these pieces of wood and the piece of wood over there so we're gonna turn it on come through and grind it all the way down oh we still got some more a little bit more to go is that it did that get it that got it so now all of that stuff that was around is now gone what do we want to do is we want to go into landscaping and I'm just going to make this entire area this color right here this uh, muddy dirt whatever you want to call it so we got that we got that and fortunately for us this will completely get rid of any bushes shrubs anything like that now if you want you could come through here and add some more buildings in the middle totally cool totally doable we are not going to do that through the power of trickery we are going to go into silos we are going to go over here to the bunker silos the one that comes with the game and we are going to overlap there we go there's one and there's two so now we have three bunkers in here and they are all lined up perfect you know it looks like two right now but again through the power of trickery and going through and doing this because right now these are all kind of accentuated 
There we go. And now it is starting to come to life. There's that. Boom. Now you look at it, you say, oh, well, no, there's three bunker silos. Because there are. And because we have lined up perfectly the edges on the sides, we can do this. Yeah, yeah. So let's go in. I think we should be able to go straight down the center of all of these. And we're just going to give it a little bit of flare. The same thing that Alien Jim did down through here. We are going to do the same thing. Because if Jim does it, you know it's got to be good. So if we can do the same thing, then we are good to go. So let's run through here. There's that. Come through here. Sling down the center. We've got a little bit of hangover down on that side. And a bit of hangover down here as well. I wonder if we can get that to go away. Yes, we can. Just perfect. A little bit of hangover on that side. A little bit on that side. But it is good. There you go. So now we've got three bunkers if we really want to come in here and get a bunch of silage done, get some chaff done, anything like that. We can now do it, and we made our own using what Jim gave us. Awesome. Next thing we want to do is straighten up the area behind the sheep a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing. I think this is still on. Yeah, this is still on. We're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing. Now, the great thing about doing that one is there was a rock over there. And now that rock is gone. So if we wanted to extend that out even more, extend that field out even more, we could easily do so now. I don't have any plans to do that, but that's kind of gone. Tell you what, I miss it just a bit, but <laughs> it's okay. The great thing about Alien Jim is he makes it to where we can do everything ourselves and we make it the way we want to make it. And that's just cool. That's awesome. So if you remember, we bought us a John Deere 6250R in the last live stream that we did on here. But we're just going to roll through and get some of this fertilized. You guys forced me. Forced, I mean, forced is a, a very, very kind word. <laughs> to do cotton. Why? In this field? No, that's so silly. But regardless, you guys wanted cotton. So we're putting cotton down. And it is what it is. You know, this thing does look good, though, doesn't it? Not, uh, not a huge fan of some of the John Deere models in game. Simply because I'm a U.S. person. I'm from the U.S. And they don't, uh, I just feel like they don't represent the stuff that's going on here. I like a big, mean, green John Deere. That's just me. Nothing against these. So, let's get this finished up. This should be very, very easy. I mean, what, what are we doing? Headlands and then two center passes? And that should hypothetically should give us a full pass. Actually, to be honest with you, I probably could have done all this in uh, one pass and down straight down the center and been good. Are we good? I think we're good. Yeah. And the rest of our fields are good as well. This gives us a full 100% fertilization state on everything now. We do have a little bit right here on 33. We will try and get that fixed up. But for now, I think that's pretty good. So we've got this. we got that. That's good. This is good. We've got wool. We're going to get a massive wool cell, so we're going to hang on to that. We do have an area over here beside the house. Now, this was uh, this was the little, uh, what do you call it, the quick tips video that we did yesterday. And I came through, and I accidentally saved it. I wasn't planning on saving the game, but darn it, I saved the game. So we're going to do a little bit of landscaping over here. There we go. There's that. Drop that off. Here's what I'm talking about. Right beside the house, what I've done is I've cut a hole in the hedge so that we can drive through while I was showing off the area. So we're going to come over here and take the same ground and just go through. Oh, we don't own the land. That's right. In order to edit that, we're going to have to buy the land just for using this. So buy the land, go back in. Now we can do that customization that we wanted to do. We're all the way to the edge. Let's bring in the circle and just smooth this out just a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just give it a little bit of smooth so it makes sense to go in so there's not these hard edges. There we go. That's perfect. So now we've almost got a little island going on right here. <laughs> yeah, we got our own pig island. Yeah, yeah. Look, we've got that. That's good. That's good. That's good. 
I think we got a little bit more to do around here. Well, we've had some money go down. What we're working on right now is we're getting a manure spreading setup. And I've bought the manure spreader. And I've got a truck on the way to go pick it up right now and bring it back for us. But, unfortunately, I need something to put the manure in it. Now, we've got a bucket. The bucket hold about 2,100 liters. However, it's just not big enough to get the job done quick. It's going to take forever. So, we need a telehandler, and I want to buy a telehandler. And we need a bucket for the telehandler. I know exactly which one I want. And that's going to take some time. And in order to do both of those things, we need more money. Now, we only need about $5,000 more dollars. But what I think I'm going to do is get us... I'm going to try and push us a little closer to a hundred grand. That is my goal. But in order to do that, what we've got to do is we've got to do some logging. Because this is our only... Um, well, I don't know if you call it free money, but... This is our only way of getting free money right now. So we're going to run through. We're going to get a little bit of logging done. Uh, very simple. We're just doing wood chips. That's that's it. We're just selling the wood for the wood chips. We've got a chipper right here, right at the front. And it wants the wood chips. So let's give it to it. So here's what we've got. We've got the Manitou, this little uh, MLAT. This is an interesting little bugger because it's articulated. I'm not a fan. I don't like these. I don't like the way they drive. I don't like the way they feel. I don't like that the bucket doesn't point up. I think that it's weird. It's not my favorite. But we saved a lot of money getting it. Um, and I feel like I use the other ones quite a bit. Also, check this out. Yeah, we went with the Samson SP14, y'all, which surprisingly enough, check this out. So I found this out. If you're wanting to get into manure spreaders, let's take the first three, okay? 27, 43, 54. FarmTech Superflex, you can't change it at all. 10,500 liters, nine meters. The next one, 16,900 liters at 12 meters. And then for another, what, $11,800 on top of that, you could get a smaller capacity and a smaller working width. Now, it does come out the side, it doesn't go out the back, but why would you not go with this one? I don't understand. So we have gone with it. Oh, I'm already having problems, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, we're already having problems. We got a lot of poo. I want to take the poo that we've got. Oh, we did not even get all the poo. Give me the rest of your poo. Got it. So we've got seven, uh... But that, see, this is what concerns me, is when it raises, it looks like it's getting ready to just dump it all out the front. And I bet it would if it got the chance. So here is manure. Let's dump it in. I don't even know where I am right now. Come on! Is what it is. Dump it in. There we go. There is manure, and it is in the thing. Now, we've got way more manure right now than this thing can handle. Way more than it can hold. The good thing is, we can put it in there and have it ready for the next time. Plus, getting it out of here keeps everything nice and clean, straightens it up. And we might be able to get all of the manure first time around, first way through. Yes, we can. There we go. Manure has got... We're putting it in. It is good. Now, we have no fields. Again, no fields that require manure right now. I wonder if we could do this in first person. Um, not really. No. No, we can't. So, let's get this thrown in here. It is not too shabby. I love it. When it comes to the amount of cows and pigs that we have, they will produce manure. And they will produce it pretty darn fast. However, they're not going to produce it as fast as we are going to need 
if we want to do all of our fields. Now, right now we have, what, three, four fields, including the grass field. If we want to roll through there, we are going to have to need a lot of manure. Fortunately for us, there is a manure buy point on the map. So we are rocking over here. This is the animal dealership. And what we do is we come up here. We roll under here. You may have to take a little second and get it all figured out. But what it will do, you could either buy manure or slurry here. We are going to buy manure. And not only are we going to buy manure, we are going to fill this thing up to the top. It's not going to be that expensive, but I am going to let it go live. We're going to do this live so you can see exactly how fast it will fill up. Again, if you want to do this with slurry, you can do this with slurry as well. But for the amount of manure that we are going to need, we need a whole lot more than what it's going to be giving us. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? After 59,000 liters is $1,900 not too bad that's not too bad at all especially seeing how much it costs that is okay good to know good to know so let's take this back all the way and we can dump it in our own silo which is phenomenal so i'm just going through and i've noticed that the money that we're getting here at the garden center is more than what we would have sold for that says eighty dollars now this is the garden center sell point right here if you guys are curious the uh sell points up there they do not register so right here this one we will be able to make a little bit more than what we paid so we paid 1400 and that's it right there fourteen hundred dollars <laughs> Oh, we got a whole lot left. We're going to come up here and see if we can sell a little bit up here as well. See which one of these is doing best right now. So if you wanted to, technically, it's looking like you could also flip manure on here and be completely fine. Now, I don't think, yeah, we don't have the turning radius to get this thing straightened back up just by reversing. Let's see. Let's back this in and see how fast we can make money here. Oh, that's going up. Oh, that's going up fast. Oh, that's going up really fast. Ooh. $29,000 for that. Got to tell you what. Even having to spend money on that, I know exactly where to sell manure at this point. Holy cow. Jim, wow. Crap. Jim, holy cow, <laughs> you are something else, bro. I tell you what, you are something else. Speaking of something else, I think instead of doing water today, we're just going to sell manure back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and be done with that. That's how we're going to make our money today. Ah, yeah. Let's run over. Let's do that a couple times, and let's come back. Let's see how much money we've got after five trips. Well, four trips. Well, after a few trips, I mean five total, we have $176,000 right now. Yo. Yo. Now that is money right there, baby. That is money. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. We are getting good money, and we've got another load just for ourselves. We're going to bring this back. My goodness, my goodness, $176,000. Pretty much, the farm is paying for itself. Jim has, oh, I can't break. Jim has created this entire field, this entire map, this entire field, this entire map based around ease of farming, making money, having a good time, and, and the attempt of doing everything that it lets you do legitimately. That's insane. Absolutely insane the amount of money that we're getting i am so hyped i'm so excited things are coming together nicely well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not already, please subscribe if you have any questions about what we did today let me know down in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you guys hope you have a great day and we will see you later peace <laughs>